What is up everyone? Today we're looking at two digit by two digit multiplication using the expanded method. Let's begin. So today we're going to look at these two questions. We've got a green chili challenge of 43 times 25 and we've got a red chili, a harder challenge, 82 times 64. So let's begin with our green chili challenge, 43 by 25. Now the first thing we want to think about doing is making sure we're organizing our work nice and neatly before we begin. So I'm going to make sure I start by putting my ones, tens, hundreds, and then I can enter the numbers in the correct places. 43 times 25. Put my equals line and I'm ready to begin, but let's just tidy that up. So let's begin. Now, where do we start? Well, we always start with our smallest values. And in this question, we have a ones column. So ones will be our smallest value. So we're going to multiply our five times our three to start with. So my first question will be five times three. Then I want to think about what's the second smallest value. Well, if I continue multiplying this five, but move up now to my tens, I'll be multiplying five by four. Well, it's not a four, is it? It looks like a four, but it's in our tens column. So it holds the place of 40. So my second question says 5 times 40. Now I've multiplied my 5 by the 3 and by the 4, which means that between my 5 times 3 and 5 times 40, what I've actually done is 5 times 43. Now I'm going to look at the second digit in this number, the 2. And we know it's not a 2, it's actually a 20. So my first question should be 2 times 3. But like we say, it's not a 2, it's a 20. So 20 times 3 and then my last question would be 2 times 4 or 20 times 40 and now I'm ready to begin so here goes 5 times 3 is 15 5 times 40 well I might not know that so I can just use my knowledge of place value and put my 0 in place and then just do 5 times 4 5 times 4 is 20 so the answer to 5 times 40 would have been 200 now I've got 20 times 3, again, put my placeholder in place, 2 times 3 is 6. My next one says 20 times 40, this time I've got 1, 2 placeholders, so I put 1, 2 placeholders in place, and I can do 2 times 4 is 8. Looks finished, but is it? No, not yet, because so far we've partitioned our number, we've broken it all down into the individual parts, now I need to smash it back together to add it all up. So now I'm going to add up all of these individual parts. So if I start with my 1s, I've got 5, 0, 0, 0, that equals 5. And if I then look at my 10s, I've got 1 and 6, that equals 7. And in my 100s column, I've got 2 and 8, that equals 10. So my answer is 1,075. Okay, so my next question is a red chili challenge, one that's a bit harder. Why is it harder? Well, these numbers might be a little bit harder to multiply. So let's start at the right place. Let's put our 1s, 10s, and 100s and then we put our numbers in place. 82 times 64. Put my equal line and I'm ready to begin. But let's just tidy it up, there we go. Okay, so let's remind ourselves, where do we start? Well, we start at our smallest value, so my first one's gonna be four times two, and then I start moving to the next smallest value, four times eight. Not an eight, is it? We know it's an 80 because it's in the tens column. So now I've done the four, I'm gonna move on to the six, and I'm gonna do six times two, but we know it's also not a six because it's in the tens column, so it's 60 times two. And then my last question would be 60 times 80. Put my equals line, and I'm ready to begin. Here we go, four times two is eight. Four times 80, not sure, so I'm gonna use my place value, put my zero in place, now I can do four times eight. Four times eight is 32. Put that in place. So four times 80 is actually 320. Now I've got 60 times two. Put my placeholder in place. Six times two is 12. Now I've got 60 times 80. I've got two placeholders. One, two. Six times eight is 48. Okay, and then we can just simply add those columns up. Eight plus zero, zero, zero is eight. 2 add 2 is 4, 3 add 1 is 4, add the 8 is 12, so carry a 1 over, 4 add the 1 is 5. So my answer to the red chili challenge is 5,248. Wow, well done. If you carried along with me with that, that shows you've got a good understanding. Let's think about the things we need to remember. 
Always put your ones, tens and hundreds as your column titles. That's going to help you avoid any mistakes. Partition the question into all of its individual parts, like we did here, where we thought about our four questions first. One, two, three, four. That's really important. Don't forget your placeholders. It's going to make the multiplication much easier. And then don't forget that you've individually answered these separate parts. You must put it together to get a final answer at the end. Okay, I've got three questions here on the board for you. I want you to have a go at all three of these. Put the answers in the comment section and I'm going to try and mark every single one. Good luck. Okay guys, there you have it. That is multiplying a two digit by a two digit in the expanded column method. Well done if you got the answers correct from the previous section. I'll see you in another video. Peace out.